It just turned February and you're currently experiencing one of these scenarios. You're playing basketball in the Southern Hemisphere, more than likely outside. You're indoors hooping in the Northern Hemisphere or you're not hooping because of the snow, it's too cold or you don't have the skills and or physical attributes to play basketball. But despite all of that, you love the sport of basketball. Either that or you want to support this channel. Nevertheless, Niantic came out with a game that might help you contain that level of basketball. I introduce to you NBA All Worlds. Now you should know what NBA All Worlds is, but in case you've been living under a rock, I got you covered. NBA All Worlds is a mobile basketball game created by Niantic, the same company that got Pokemon Go under their thumb. With this game, you'll go around challenging NBA players to recruit them to join your squad, level them up, and pretty much be the best on the basketball court. In case you're wondering if you can play as the Los Angeles Lakers and have them play against the New York Knicks inside Madison Square Garden, at the moment, no. This game has you take NBA players and make them play one-on-one -on -one street ball shootouts, three-point shootouts, and all-around-the-world shootout. Now, your next question might be, who in the world is this guy? Well, let me do my intro first. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. It's your boy, True and Funnel, and today's day of me recording this video is Monday, February the 6th. Okay. Now for a more serious introduction. I'm a content creator that is mostly known for making Pokemon Go videos, known for making music that is available at trueandfella.bandcamp.com, Spotify, and all major online music retailers like my upcoming beat album, Scholastic Expedition, which comes out April 21st. Yeah, that's available as Sameless Plug, if I do say so myself. And I'm also known to live stream on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash trueandfella. That's another Shameless Plug. Now, I'm known for other things, but we're not going to talk about that here because it's not one tit here, and you know who you are. Let's get back on topic now. Welcome to my very first NBA All World video. This video will serve more as my first impressions right at the same time, giving you a tutorial on the game. So let's get to it. After downloading, installing, and signing up, you know, la -di -ya -ya, the usual stuff, you'll be assigned a random basketball player, more than likely one you had never heard of before. So don't expect LeBron James or the Greek Freak at the very beginning. Immediately after that, you'll be challenged by another player that you probably never heard of before as well. Before I continue on, these are all NBA players despite them being on the lower end of the superstardom. After you beat this player in whatever drill game give it to you, you can finally pick your username and pick an NBA team that you like. Afterward, you'll do a warm-up game by tapping on the top left corner of your screen. There will literally be a hand pointing there to guide you. You will find yourself in another 1v1 game. For me, I'm playing against a notable NBA player in New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, he actually is pretty good, actually. It was in this game where my character does the unrealistic lame layup, which gets on my nerves, if I can be honest. What is that? What is that? Wait! After I won the game, I got some team rep cred and XP for winning the warm-up. But since it was a warm-up game, I was not able to recruit Jalen Brunson to my team. After winning my second of three warm-up games, a pop-up appeared in the top left corner telling me to level up my team. Of course, I want to do that, as you should as well, so I checked it out. It showed me a list of objectives that must be done in order for you to reach level 2. Until then, there are some NBA players that are level 2 and up that you cannot recruit, though you can still challenge them to matches. While the first objective was so easy that I had no idea that it was an objective, the other two could be difficult, but they're really not hard at all. What you need to do is level up one of your two coming players to level 2, which is what I did, and challenge someone that you can recruit to a game. Beat that player and recruit them. Now, how do you level up your player? Here's how. On the lower left of your screen, you will see two yellow arrows pointing up next to your current active starter, and you can only have one active starter at a time, folks. Tap the arrows, and you'll be able to manage that player. Tap on Upgrade, and you will see that your player's XP will be at its max for that level. Click on the yellow level up bar at the bottom, which will cost you cred, by the way, and we'll talk more about that later, and you can level up your player. Now you can also add XP, which are optional if you collected those cards while walking around spinning quote unquote poke stops or winning games. Those cards will help you level up your player as well. Another way to level up your player is to click on the gold basketball near the bottom. Select my team and pick one of the players currently on your team. Then you can select manage and you'll be back at the screen where you click on upgrade. Now you probably noticed that I said poke stops. 
Well, check this out. Certain points in the real world are reflected as Pokestops and Pokegems in Pokemon Go, and they're the same in NBA or World, as you can clearly see with the Schoolcraft Sculpture wielding Pokestop. This is where you can get items of different kinds to help your players. And apparently, you can have your players wear those same items, though some of them are restricted. Getting back to these stops, as I'm going to call them, the distance needed for you to reach these stops are different from NBA or World to Pokemon Go, as you can clearly see. You have to be much closer in NBA or World than you would in Pokemon Go. Now, just like in real life, your character can run out of energy. This mostly happens in the middle of a game, so pay attention to that energy bar in the bottom. If it's low, like under 25 maybe, then energize that player. Pause on that, by the way. You can go to your team, tap on the active player, tap on energize, and depending on which energy drink you picked up, you can get them plus 10, plus 25, or plus 100, basically full energy. I mentioned cred earlier in this video, and one of the easiest ways to get cred is to walk around and tap on the gold crystals on the ground or your player will pick it up automatically if he walks on those crystals very easy to get credit in this game now when you think about basketball one of the major things that you think about aside from the game itself is the attire the swag the drip they got clothes shoes and accessories that you can find from the stops or possibly win for games to put on your players to give them better stats. You can also boost your character's stats for offense, defense, and fitness as well. As I mentioned earlier, you can have like multiple players wear the exact same outfit, but again, some of them are restricted. One of the things I did was challenge a gym located at a spot similar to Pokestops and Pokegems in Pokemon Go, as I explained earlier in this video. You can challenge anyone in the gym to take their spot and kick them off. If you win, you get that spot. You can also challenge other players in the gym to get a better spot and or kick them off the gym as well. Of course, you'll get more rewards from this as well. Whichever player you use in that gym is the player that will stay in that gym unless you said no thanks. We'll get more into gyms in a later video. And that's pretty much it for the beginning portion of NBA All Worlds. Now, there are more stuff in the game that I didn't talk about yet, but we're going to talk about that in a future video. But basically, everything that I brought to you is enough for now. Based on what i played so far, it's a game that shouldn't be taken too seriously at the moment. You obviously want to win against any NPCs you come across, obviously. But this game is not at the point where you should be spending hours into it as if it was Pokemon Go. Despite that, this is the best mobile basketball game I have ever played, unlike other games that have the letter K in them. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So who is this game for? If you're a basketball fan or an NBA fan, I definitely would advise you to play this game. If you're not a basketball fan, just like most people in the Pokemon community, then you more than likely won't enjoy this game. I'll advise you to become a fan of basketball first, then play real life basketball before trying this game out. Overall, this is a great game, and I'll be continuing to play this, not just as much as Pokemon Go pretty much. So what do you think? If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want, but more importantly, subscribe to this channel. So there you have it, and I will see you in my next NBA All Worlds video. Take care.